Hi everyone, this is Dave here from davestravelpages.com and this is a short video to review a bike mount for a mobile phone. So, Blitzwolf have kindly sent me something to test, thank you very much Blitzwolf. And uh, basically it's a, a mount that you put on, on the bicycle and then you put your mobile phone into the mount. I will show you what I mean now. Uh, I should say that I don't get paid for any reviews on the channel and so all opinions are my own. Now, obviously it's very nice of Blitzwolf to send me this item to test. So, okay, so my first impression is it's quite a chunky object and this would appear to be the piece where it fixes to the bicycle and this would appear to be the piece where the mobile phone goes in. So it looks like the mobile phone goes in there and is held by that which is spring loaded and then it, I would imagine that these hook around the mobile phone somewhere which my first impression is okay, but we'll see how that works. Uh, ah, okay, looking at it, it, there also appears to be, um, what would you call it, like a knuckle socket or something, so, so you can pull that out. So if you're parked up somewhere, if you leave your bike outside a shop, you could just take your mobile phone off, and that's pretty similar to what I have to do with my Garmin GPS. Uh, so why would you need one of these? Well, cool, well I'm in took a bit of work. Uh, you would need one maybe for a bicycle touring if you wanted to use your phone as a GPS device uh, or if you wanted to check uh, messages or emails coming in on your phone as you were cycling but that said I don't really recommend that you use your phone when cycling because it's not very bright. Uh, you could just want it on there to uh, listen to some music and so you can just flip through your uh, uh, your playlist or something. Anyway I think it has got a place, it is something that I've wanted for a while I guess now I have to attach it to the bike and see if it's actually any good. So, here we go. So this is the bit where I attach it to the bike. So, because of the angle of the camera, you're either going to get a shot of my genitals or my arse. So I do apologise in advance. So, presumably that needs to go on there like that. And then it tightens up. Okay, so that tightens up pretty strongly. And it's not going to slide around there, which is good. So the big test is putting the phone in. Now I can see one drawback. Because these flip out, it might conflict with where the buttons are on the phone. So I'll put it in as carefully as I can. Oh, actually, it's quite straightforward. Okay, so that went in there straight forward. So now I suppose if I line it up, these must go over here. Okay, you can hear me pressing buttons on the phone as I'm doing this. Okay, this is gonna be a pain, I can see this. Now I've seen another couple of videos and they seem to make it work pretty well. But this is not the case for me right now. So I've already managed to turn the phone off as I've been trying to put this on, which is quite irritating. So the phone is now just restarting. And this hook here is right near my volume button. So I've got to be really careful to put that on. Okay, it's on and my phone's just starting as you can hear. I'm going to alter the view of the camera so that you can see it from another angle now. Hi there, so I've attached this to the front of my bike and this bicycle is my Thorn Nomad Touring Bike. As you can see it doesn't have a great deal of space on the front to attach things to. This takes up the room on one side basically. I could only attach one more thing on this side that would probably end up being a GPS. But thinking about it, I couldn't even attach my handlebar bag because there's, a, there's like a clip that goes here and then the handlebar bag goes on front. So I don't think I could use this for bicycle touring as it is simply because this is so wide. It is secure though, so that's great, but it's just too wide for the bicycle touring. Obviously, this attachment isn't designed for bicycle touring. It's designed as an attachment for a bicycle. And most people don't do tours. Let's have a look at the front. Now as you can see, it has these straps, one, two, three, and this one has 
flips off. Now this, I think, is a bit of a problem because it doesn't seem to want to stay on. Which doesn't fill me with confidence. So if it's not going to stay on when it's stationary, is it going to stay on when I'm cycling on a bumpy track? There we go, it clipped off. And if it does flick off, does this make the phone any less secure? Well, I think with three straps, actually, it is secure. If I lose another strap, though, there's a danger of the, of the phone sliding. Now, these two things here, this is the spring-loaded clip that I showed earlier. They're awesome. They, that is really, really tight. You know, the phone is not going from side to side. I don't understand why they didn't have another one here and another one here. Um, obviously, there might have been some practical issues, but it would have been a lot more secure than these rubber straps. And, yeah, I... I don't know, I mean, obviously most people's mobile phones are quite expensive. I mean, this is a Samsung Galaxy S4, and I think even now if you wanted to buy it, it would be a couple of hundred euros. If you've got a new phone, do you want to put your 500 euro phone just held in by these? Or, to be more accurate, do you want to run the risk? That's, uh, that's the thing. It's, I'm not saying that it will come off, I'm saying, do you want to risk it? Uh, I don't think I do. And... Um, yeah, I'm not sure that I, I would use this. And to be fair, I can't actually go out on a bike ride and test it because it's snowing outside and I don't want to get cold, which makes me a bit of a pussy, I guess. Uh, okay, so let's do some sort of conclusion. Um, it's only a fair weather item because it's not waterproof. So if you've got a waterproof phone, then that's fine. You can use this all the time. If you don't have a waterproof phone, you can only use this in fair weather. The straps don't fill me with confidence. This is secure, but does take up a lot of room. It also has the advantage that you could attach it perhaps to other, did you see, just see that flip off by itself? It has the advantage that you could attach it to um, other item uh, objects. And I've actually got an idea that I might want to attach it to a pole as on bicycle tour and, and do uh, like a video as on cycling or something like that. But that said, as we've just seen with this strap that's come off by itself, it's it's unlikely that I would choose to use it, I think. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. For price, it's probably okay, because I think it was about 10 bucks, 10 euros, something like that. There's a link in the, uh, underneath here in the comments, so you can check out the price yourself. But I don't think I would choose to use this personally, although it's given me some ideas of what I should look for for a mobile phone mount. This one is not for me. So that's an honest review, uh, as I hope you've come to expect from me. If you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Cheers for now.